I want to let you know that you have to crawl before you can walk. And I know you're just newly graduating. I know that it looks scary. Oh, I just signed it up for school. I'm nervous. Can I get past physics? Yes, you can. Breathe and just take your time. Study hard, stay focused because the dream is right there. Keep persevering because you could do it. Believe me, you could do it. Um, working in this field, it's not all about money. We're also here to help patients and aid in their diagnosing and be a blessing to them. So I wanted to put that out there because I don't want you to think like, oh, well, she's just doing it for the money. No, I absolutely love my patients. But this video has been asked for me to do and I'm going to do it and I did it. And, um, but I just wanted to do that before you guys start listening to the other video. I just wanted to let you know how I truly feel. Like this job has been a blessing to my family and to me. Um, but it's not about all the money. It's not about the money. We have to make sure that we're doing things as a Christian and helping others and staying focused and putting God first and just making sure that um, we pray over our jobs and we pray for our schools that we're, you know, staying efficient because the main goal is we're helping patients. Of course, financial stability comes with the program, but I just wanted to say that real fast. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's your girl Tamika. I actually just got off work or actually just came home from work. And any hooters, I am Tamika. Welcome if you are new. Um, and if you are not, thank you for coming back and supporting your girl. Anyways, let's get in today's video. In today's video, I am actually going to be talking about how I make money. Just briefly talking about it maybe about five six minutes about it but I know I get asked questions all the time how do you negotiate how do you get more money how can you get more money um what jobs offer more money things of that nature and I probably won't get to all those questions but I'll touch briefly on probably each subject but with that being said um excuse my appearance but I'm just relaxing I'm tired I'm about to go to bed because I got to get up at four o'clock in the morning and do it all over again so and let me tell you right now it is like 9 30 almost 10 o'clock at night and if you are new um let me just reiterate I am a travel sonographer and I travel to the Bay Area I live in Sacramento and I travel to various locations throughout the Bay Area. Um, I've been doing it since 2005. I absolutely enjoy it. It's great money. I started at, I remember my first job out of school was $21 an hour. And I thought I was balling then. And I didn't realize that sonography could grow so dramatically um, in making money and also growing your funds and your bank account and financial stability and so looking around i always knew that the bay area offered more money than any place that i've ever been and i've been only in california but i've sacramento is and la is the majority of the places that I've seen and applied for jobs. And when I hit up on um, my own company as far as traveling and I got a contract with Alameda County at um, Highland Hospital in 2004, um, it just opened up doors for me. And I, I, I was actually able to see how much I could grow, how much I can um, make and it was phenomenal so ever since then I just been on this venture and believe me the incline is just going up and up and up I recently um, was working in Sacramento locally for a company 
and that died off. I was very upset about it, but you can't do, you know, a contract is a contract as far as, you know, things are made to end. So it ended and because it allowed me to be local and it allowed to me to be with my family at dinner and things like that. So I didn't have to be on the road two hours at a time one way. But um, that was $63 an hour and I only worked for um, six hours and I w went from seven to one and, and, and I worked Monday through Friday. It was six hours a day at 63 an hour um, and it was it was amazing and I still travel to this day and as I previously state previously stated and um, I make more traveling to the Bay Area than I did at that job I recently had so I'm not gonna tell you that dollar amount just because but I'm very open about my money, but just not on social media. Um, and, but if we get to talk and you guys email me, I'm very open. I, I love to see people grow in this industry and in this career because there's money to be made. Um, the way that I make my money is because I sell myself. I know what I could do. I know what I can offer. I know what um, the efficiency, I know how many patients I can scan within an hour. I can literally scan six patients in an hour. Now, I know everybody cannot do that, but that's what I'm telling you. Get to know what you're good at so you can sell it. Because if I could scan six patients in an hour, then why not sell? that put that on the table when I'm discussing my contract when I when I'm discussing my you know offer or what have you to said companies um, I think that uh, when you do sell yourself you have to be confident you can't be you know second guessing yourself you can't be timid to scan any type of exam um, I scan everything from general sonography to OBGYN to um, 3D, 4D to uh, vascular to, um, oh gosh, small parts. And the only thing that I don't do, and I'm looking for someone to train me, if you anybody want to train me, is echocardiogram. I don't do echoes. But, oh, and I also do neurosonology. Um, but past that, like, that's another thing that I throw out. These are all the things that, I, that I'm able to do. Pretty much, I'm a one-stop shop. Past Echo, I don't do Echo, but um, I'm willing to learn. Um, if you're willing to learn something and someone is willing to teach you, get that like modality down because that's just adding to your resume and that's just adding to you to be able to make more money. Now, moving a little bit forward ahead, um, once you have all the boxes checked off, like this is what I offer, put up a good resume. And it's not one of those resumes that, um, oh, I graduated from high school in 1996. I graduated from college in 2000. It's not that. What resume I'm telling about, and this is like kind of um, going along with that, you know, generic resume, put on there sonographer for X amount of years. Um, well, let's just use me sonographer for 20 years. Um, and from that point, I'll list my selling points. I'll list my selling points. I'm able to do X amount of patients in an hour. I'm able to perform all exams and I'll list all the exams that I'm able to do, all the modalities that I'm able to do, whichever way you want to do it, modalities or list the exams. Um, and like I literally, um, I make, I, I put that together. I put that together that, you know, my resume, Tamika's resume, and I attach it to the generic resume. Like this is also what you're getting. My experience, what I could scan, what I could do, 
what machines I could work on. Um, I'm very uh, efficient and I'm also uh, not self-motivated, but I am also, um, I'm able to work in the, oh, um, I'll list my exams. Um, I'll, I'll list my exams, the modalities, if, whichever way that I choose to list it. I'll tell them what machines I can work on. And I'm also letting them know that you don't have to train me. I'm able to walk into your office or your establishment and call back the first patient. I'm not gonna be timid. I'm not gonna be shy. I know what my job is. I know what I need to do. And just let me work. I'll play, put my music on and I'll go to town. Um, and that's literally how I make my money and how I'm able to make more money than your average tech that's just working at a hospital or what have you. Um, I've been an independent contractor now um, for since 2004. And I can't tell you how I am not going back to, I, I can't tell you enough how I will not go back to corporate as far as not working for myself. I won't do it. I love, absolutely love the flexibility of my schedule, what I can schedule, what if I don't want to work, I don't have to work. Um, if I want to take all next week off, I can and I'll be just fine. I'm able to spend time with my family. I'm able to enjoy life. I'm able to do any, all and the above. Now, a lot of people frown on that. A lot of people, you know, oh, well, what about your 401k? What about, you know, your your insurances? Okay, well, you, there's priorities as well. I mean, you're not just going to be out here traveling and living your best life and not taking care of business. Take care of business first. Enjoy life later. Um, and taking business, taking care of business is getting your 401k, your, um, your, uh, getting, getting your 401k, getting your IRA, getting things, you know, that lined up financially for your future, paying into your taxes, paying into your, um, retirement fund, things like that, like definitely take care of your, your business. I mean, that would be very stupid to make money and you're making money and you're not taking care of business. So I think I touched on everything. If you guys have any questions, please give me a email. Uh, my email is always in the description box below. Leave a comment and let me know if you're interested in doing what I, I mentioned on my last video. Um, I also hire text to start working so and I take new grads as well because I know you guys got to start somewhere i.e prime example she's a new grad in my last video or not my last video my last video was you guys showing me I was showing you guys my kitchen but um in the previous video she was my student just the beginning of this year and she's working and she's traveling making great money so like I said I know that um, some of you guys don't live in Northern California, and that's fine. But maybe you could come out here, fly out here for a week, stay in a hotel, work a week, and go back home. It it just depends. Like you could create your total, like you could create your own schedule. So, if you guys are interested, please give me a comment or let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of this. I would love. I would. <laughs> don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. I would love for you to be a part. Don't forget to subscribe and come join this amazing YouTube family. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. If you get offered a job right out of school, take it. Take it. It may not be your dream job, but just know that is your stepping stone to get you to where God wants you to be. So don't knock it. Get the experience. Stay in it. Stay focused and work towards your ultimate goal, which wherever you want to, if you want to travel, if you want to work at John Hopkins, wherever you want to go, work towards that goal 
if Sally Mays, you know, Sally Sue's uh, radiology imaging center is not where you want to work, then work, to take the job. Take the job, learn efficiency, learn how to work independently, learn confidence, and believe me, your dreams will happen. Ooh.